Hello everyone and welcome to part 3 in Plotting in MATLAB, an introduction. So, in this part, we will talk about something called handles and how to use handles to customize your plots and objects in your plots. And this is very useful sometimes. Uh, and it's also maybe the hardest thing to grasp in this series, but uh, with the examples and this video, I'm sure you will be able to handle it. Okay, so what is a handle? A handle is a pointer to another object. And that other object can be a figure, an axis in a figure, or something within the figure itself. Either a label, a legend, or a plot. So it's something that points to this. And handles are somewhat specific because uh, they appear as uh, a number in MATLAB. I will show you soon, uh, just switch over to MATLAB. Uh, but uh, the thing about handles is by manipulating the handle we can uh, manipulate the object. And we use the get and set commands on handles to change them. And there's a standard handle that you should be aware of in MATLAB. It's called the GCA, which is actually short for Get Current Axis. Uh, but the GCA is an inbuilt handle in MATLAB, so it always exists. We don't have to define it. So actually, let me switch over to MATLAB and I will show you. So here we have MATLAB, and we still have a figure from earlier. It just takes forever to load. Sorry, my computer is slow. Uh, so, you see here are some variables, uh, but GCA is not one of them, but since it's inbuilt in MATLAB, uh, we get an answer. It says 175 point something. What the heck is this? It's just a number, right? Well, there's actually something behind this number, and we can use the get command to find out what. So. What happened now? Well, these are all the properties that are controlled by this handle. So let me scroll up for you. So in in this number is a handle for all these properties. And this is things that we can change with the, the set command. So let me switch back to my presentation. Yes, and I showed you all this. So, here we are. I just did the get on the GCA handle. And for example here, font size is one of the things we can change. And that's one of the things you usually want to change, because the font size is really small. And we can use them by using the set on the handle. We change the font size to 15. And GCA is always the handle to the current figure, so if you have many figures open, you need to be sure that you switch to the right figure between before you, you change it. And one way to get around this is to store uh, the handle you're interested in in a specific variable, like this for example. So what can we do with handles? Well, I told you we can change the font size. So here is an example where we changed uh, the font size of the axis and the legends. And it's done like this. And you can look in example 13. And uh, it doesn't change the labels and the title, but it will if you run it twice. Uh, so just run it twice or give specific handles for those things. I will show you how to do that. But this is a neat way to change the font size of your figure. And as we see, we're approaching a better and better figure here for each iteration we do. Okay, so we can assign handles to many things in MATLAB. For example, like this. And the easiest way to do it is when we create them. And this you've probably not seen before. I've assigned an output to my plot, like this A equals plot. X, Y, and this will create a handle 
with so A will be a handle, and it's the same with X table and legend and title. So here all these variables A, B, C, and D they are handles. We can use the uh, get and set commands to manipulate them. So let's do some uh, things with the handles in this figure. So here I've um, created separate handles for each of the objects I wanted to change. So I used, uh, and this is general syntax, you use set and the handle here is just a placeholder. You insert your own variable name and the new value you want to use for it. So here I've used one font size for the axis, which is these, the size of the figures here. And I used the second font size for the labels and the title and the legend. So here the X label, the Y label and the title are all uh, with the second font size. And I could give them all individual font sizes if I wanted to. And you can check out this in an example 14. Okay, so what more can you do with handles? Well, here I've used handles to change uh, the range of my data, what is plotted. So I've changed the limits. So it's something called the xlim to 10, between 10 and 15 on the x-axis, and I've changed the ylim to s between 0 and 30. So you can do this to, in effect, zoom in on a specific area. Uh, although, to be fair, there's an easier way to change to control the limits, and in example 15, uh, that's written in a comment how you can do that. Uh, but you can also do it like this with the handles. So uh, handles is useful for many things. We can, for example, use it to, sh to uh, specify where we want these ticks to be. For example, if we wanted more uh, tick every half hour. We can do that, or only every second hour. And we can also change the names of the ticks if we, for example, don't want numbers down here. We maybe we want uh, different uh, letters or strings, whatever we choose. We can control it with the handles. And we can use the handle to change between log scale and normal scale. And I ac accidentally said in the first video that. I covered this in the second video, but no, it's in this video, so sorry for that. Uh, yes, so all these things you can control with handles, which makes them so useful and versatile. And that was all about handles, and in the, the next video, and which is the last video, we will talk about how to plot in multiple figures and uh, subplots and also about a little bit about additional tools and uh, uh, defining your own colors and uh, drawing uh, rectangles and lines and things like this in your plots. So that was everything for this video. Thank you for listening.